Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming! And we are back with some more LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7. In fact, we got the Herbology Courtyard and Classroom. That's right, we're gonna take them both out right now in this free roam video where we only require a couple of things. Basically, we just need a dark magic character is really what we need for this one. But uh, hey, we're gonna take a quick peek at this map we've been using, provided by the old Bonefish Gamer. And look at that, we got Herbology Courtyard and Herbology Greenhouse in the dark green areas there. And if you've been following along with us, you probably left off right where we did, right here in the Clock Tower Courtyard. But we're going to go ahead and check out our statistics thus far. Look, we're 56.2%. We're getting pretty close there, boys and goyles. And now there is a cauldron over in the uh, Herbology Courtyard. But we're going to go ahead and sip on the syrup over here and grab old Grindelwald as we do need a dark magic character. Now, once you uh, have somebody yielding the magic of dark, we're going to go ahead and make our way to the left side of this area and find ourselves in a new area called the Herbology Courtyard. You can see our advanced guide here shows we got one character token, one gold brick, and one student in peril. So go ahead and choose either the left or the right path to get back to this bully in question. And look at that, he's filling him up. Look at his... <laughs> Oh no, he's making him puke out water. That's no good. Let's go ahead and return the favor. That's right, just simply zap the bully and save that student in peril. And of course, turn that frown upside down. And look at that, he leaves us a whole slew of studs to pick up for rescuing him. Now, next up, uh, we, in our notes, actually have uh, a little indication here that we need to go ahead and find this little flower spot here where we got to use Aquamani to water it up and then go ahead and blast the top of the flower which is da, 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 gonna give us the old Cornelius Fudge character token so next up we're gonna go ahead and use some dark magic on this black and red well nope that's the wrong one we actually have to go all the way to the far right side of the area there's actually two black and red uh, I guess they're plants I I'm not sure it kind of looks like they're plants but uh, yeah, you gotta use dark magic on it to go ahead and rip it open and da 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 da! Gold brick! That's right, we'll go ahead and grab that gold brick and add it to our big pile. Look at that, we only have 59 gold bricks left. All right, so we have officially got all three of the items out in the courtyard area, so let's go ahead and take a sneak peek inside your classroom. You can see here we got two character tokens, a student in peril, as well as a gold brick. So we'll go ahead and target this red wall on it, because it's got red on it. And we'll carve it out with the Findo, and look at that, it's a vacuum. Vacuum is one of the most peculiar spelled words in the English language. Uh, I'm not sure who came up with that spelling. I still struggle with it <laughs> to this day. Shh, don't tell anyone. But uh, we're going to go ahead and hop on this old Cum de Vacuum. And look at that, we're gonna roll around. It's kind of a little zigzag pattern back and forth. And I got all the way down and thought, oh, wait a minute, there's only four? Where's the fifth one? And as it turns out, it's actually all the way back at the beginning, kind of by that blue stud. So I believe you have to zigzag and get one, two, three, and four, and then you have to go all the way back to get five. I think, I'm not sure. You might be able to get five first. And you might be able to go five, four, five, one, two, three, four. I, however you do it, just make sure you get all five and collect that gold brick. Next up, we're going to use dark magic in the back right corner of the newly opened area now that we've carved out that red wall. And look at that, we got Slughorn Young! And, all right, we got a bag of tricks pads. We're going to go ahead and use Hermione to go ahead and pull out this sweet bag here. And what a cactus! What is a cactus going to do except for give us some <laughs> some pricks to our tookus? That's, uh, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I've never been a fan of cactus or cacti, depending if we're speaking in the plural firm or not. But, uh, all right, use the uh, Leviosa to go ahead and put those two little stands on it and jump up and grab it, man. And last but not least, we actually have to find the old student in peril. So maybe pay some attention to the left-hand side. Actually, it's uh, there he is. You can see him trapped inside that. I don't know what that is. Is that a Venus flytrap or something? We'll go ahead and let's see here. What do we got to do? What do we got to do? We got it. That's right. We had to use the Aquamenti point. Then we have to use Leviosa to lift up this little watering jug. Once we use that watering jug, look at that. It actually makes everything happen for us. And yay! Student in Peril is saved! And we've turned yet another frown upside down, which that pretty much wraps that up for the herbology areas. In fact, uh, we've got a little bit of studage that we roll around and we find. In fact, we actually walk out of here. Look at me. I'm actually, I'm not, I'm taking it a step further. I'm not only saving that student in peril. I'm making sure a future student doesn't 
get caught in peril. I, I, it looks like I got him some pepper or something. It looks like a salt and pepper shaker. But although the pepper did have a poison skull on it, so that's probably an indication of poison. But look at that. We've got all of the items in question there. And as we were dipping out of the herbology classroom, I thought, wait a minute. There was a bookcase I didn't use. There's got to be some studs or something. Let's go check it out. So I go ahead and sneak back in there and use Hermione to go ahead and solve this bookcase puzzle. And as it turns out, it actually gives us some pieces for the story elements. If you remember, when we were playing the story mode, it actually took us through a lot of the hub areas and kind of introduced us to different sections. And one of them was actually the Herbology Greenhouse. And we had to activate this crazy device and make it rain some water. And look at that. We got some flowers. And hey, it still works out. We could still take the flowers out and get tons of studage. In fact, Look at that, we got almost a full million just for hanging out here. In fact, I'm pretty sure we do get over a mil ski. And... Yep, there we go. So, uh, yeah, if you're still working on that billion stud trophy, it might be worth it to kind of take out some of these extra plants in the herbology court or classroom and courtyard for that matter. But we're going to go ahead and jump for joy all the way back to our guide here that was right at the beginning. And, oh, to the, yeah, we're going to take a quick peek at all of our collectibles. And, oh, you might need to go back and pause it. Sorry about that. A little short and sweet there, I guess, huh? But, hey, you know what this screen means? That's going to wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7, Herbology Courtyard and Classroom Free Room. And we swooped up all of those collectibles in a quick, pretty, uh sweet easy fashion and hopefully you guys found this video easy and maybe a wee bit entertaining as well if you guys have any questions or comments or things like that we highly encourage you go peruse around down in our comment section psych we actually want the video description comment section is where i go to answer your questions uh, we, 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 what we really want, though, is some feedback from you. So, hey, if you guys want some uh, some future games or uh, maybe you want some sort of a product unboxed or reviewed, let us know down below. As for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time. That's all, folks. Play up.